Welcome to my top 5 most hated characters in Fairy Tale. Now this list is going to be comprised of two different things. One being characters that are meant to be hated. You're supposed to hate these characters as well as one being characters that you hate them for the wrong reasons. They shouldn't be hated but the fandom hates them anyway because yeah they're, they're pretty shit. So without further ado let's jump right into it baby. Coming in at number 5. Happy. Happy is basically the mascot of Fairy Tale, and for the most part, you're not supposed to take him serious, but sometimes when he has a major plot point or he's doing something that kind of intervenes with what's going on, it's kind of like, okay, let's see what he's gonna do since he's being wedged into this shit. And honestly, Happy is just ridiculous. I mean, from the happy afro stuff to just being annoying to just being a nuisance at times, it's like every once in a while you get a chuckle out of some silly stuff that Happy does, but for the most part, he's just kind of like annoying, especially when he intervenes in some of the main plot points like again the fight with Natsu and Jaguar or Jackal I forget his name because there was so many translations but when he jumped into that and took the bomb and basically lived on it's like what not to mention I felt as though his character was pretty much wrapped up when we met his parents back in Edelos it was kind of like what's the point of continuing we already know everything about him but Hero kept him around of course because he's the mascot of fairy tale and ultimately he's done blunder after blunder messing shit up in fairy tale coming in at number four are characters who I despise in fairy tale for all of the wrong reasons, or I guess the right ones for me because I just can't fucking stand them. Sting and Rogue. I put them together for number four because both of them I can't stand equally. Sting, the hypeness that he had, the cockiness that he had, and ultimately just getting smacked around him and his little girlfriend Rogue by Natsu. It was just pathetic. He time and time again looked as though he was about to do something beast. And then in the end of the Grand Magic Games, one of the worst endings for any arc in Fairy Tale or in a lot of manga for that matter, where he said, I'm gonna take them all out and just sat there and gave up and basically cried disgusting but then on top of that you have his girlfriend rogue there that started a hell of a war and it kind of reminds me in a way of Obito from Naruto except as even further he did all of what he did and basically brought the dragons and did all this shit over a fucking cat dying oh mate will you please please just give me more kitty cat i'm begging lad please yes he did everything on the little time eclipse arc for a cat's death even killing his best friend his fucking bff his butt buddy his meat lover sting he killed him brought the dragons did all this fucking insanity because his cat died and i don't care people say well the cat talks and everything nonetheless you don't fucking kill your best friend and basically go all emo and shit because of a cat dying that's a no-no coming in at number three natsu drag neil honestly natsu does have some decent points from time to time but one of the major things about natsu is that it seems as though for the most part he never develops it seems as though natsu is pretty much a vanilla character where he's just kind of like playing like you know when times get rough he's gonna come with his friendship to save his friends when times get rough he's gonna overcome the odds and stuff like that but Natsu's character aside from some of the villainous stuff that's supposed to go on mainly his character just never feels as though it evolved it's like here and there you'll get little instances of seemingly like hey did Natsu grow up hey did he get development and then oh no it's the same old bullshit with Natsu and I mean again a lot of the problems on this list in general is because these characters are written this way in a very horrible manner or whatever a very convenient manner but nonetheless one of the main reasons why Natsu is a hated character is because his fights have been not non-stop for years upon years i wouldn't say from the beginning of the manga because he did get one good moment where he actually lost against guild arts but almost every single fight he's ever had that he won was bs him just saying i love my friends my cock is so fucking hard for my friends like oh 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 my friends oh Oh, my friends. Yes, 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 yes! Yeah, that's pretty much a Natsu fight in a nutshell. And that's why he took number three. Coming in at number two in the most hated characters of Fairy Tale. And the reason why she's number two is because she's Erza! Erza was, at one point in time, my favorite Fairy Tale character. And I still have some fond memories of what Erza used to be. Like, Erza, to be honest with you, I used to say she's the female equivalent of Zoro from One Piece. She's just fucking awesome. I love her. And ever since right around the time of Tenrojima and on, her character that at one point I looked at as an amazing character, like she's just awesome, slowly delve into something that Natsu was into. And that's that, my friends, my friends, God damn it, my fucking friends. When you have a character that I love that much, that I was like, yo, she's just absolutely amazing 
amazing. I, I I can't believe how awesome she is. And she's in fairy tale to becoming what Natsu is. Basically a plot device and ultimately having these convenient wins that she should never have won. You know, she's blind, deaf, dumb, stupid as fuck. And she still manages to get the victory. Like, wh what? So in a nutshell, the main reason to hate Eros is because at one point she had amazing potential. She was up there and she slid down to the depths of bullshit with fairy tale. Like, it's just like, I can't believe how awesome she was to the point where I even had her in top 10 list as being a fucking amazing character to where she slid. Like, it's crazy that a character that people were arguing, I'll spoiler alert right now, she's not on the list. She's not on the hated list. Lucy Hartphilia at one point was nowhere near my favorite characters, but Lucy Hartphilia, one of the hated characters, actually became a better character than Erza. And that's facts. Like, her development, she constantly gets stronger. She can even hold her own now against people from, like, the major guilds and stuff like that that is a sad point when at one point lucy was indeed worthless she was indeed just a piece of crap character and now she's even surpassed erza that at one point was one of my favorite anime female characters that's disgusting and erza it's because you're erza that you're on this list bitch and coming in at number one y'all ready for this I don't think y'all ready for this, baby. Yeah, y'all not ready for this. Number one most hated motherfucker in fairy tale is drum roll, please. Hiromashima. I don't give a fuck if he's not a character. Like, yo, bottom line, this motherfucker took something that I remember when I first got into fairy tale. I was like, yo, this this gives me the Naruto One Piece Bleach vibes. I'm loving this and stuff like that. And over the course of time, time and time again, he's disappointed. Fairy tale could have been something great. Fairy tale had potential to be something amazing, but Hiromashima squandered it and constantly did cliche after cliche after ass pull after ass pull and single-handedly turned fairy tale from what could have been an amazing series to what it is now and that's just a travesty and i don't give a shit if he's technically not a character he's the author of the manga and he's the most hated for me hero mashima because bro especially from what i heard about raid master his previous work how awesome that was and how he didn't care with the swipe of a pen he'd kill a character and now he's scared to kill cats yeah most hated hiromashima deal with it but thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you liked anything i had to say or enjoyed the video drop me a like i'd greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me make sure to subscribe follow me on twitter instagram and stalk my facebook to get more when the video ends i'm for world and as always people have an awesome day